This screencast is about tuning blending to get a nice output. First prepare a basic document with two images and set up an appropriate matching. Then go to the blending option. This is where the tutorial starts. The 2D and 3D buttons offer two different viewing modes. You can switch between them at any time and use the one you prefer. Next to these, the A, B, and HER button permits to quickly compare the Hydra output to the various inputs. You can switch to A, then to B, and at last come back to HER as we are going to change lending parameters. The histogram view is central to Hydra. It shows the repartition of light of the output image, the dark part being on the left side and the bright one on the right side. Image A is the brightest of the two input images and will thus contribute to the darkest part of the resulting image, and conversely for image B. By changing the position of the handle in the histogram, you change the relative influence of input images. The next parameter is the smoothness. A value of zero means that we move abruptly from image A to image B when the luminosity meets the threshold in the histogram. Increasing its value will make the transition between images longer. An appropriate value has to be found depending on desired output. The blending parameter permits to increase the influence of images outside of their luminosity domain. It can be thought of as a general opacity value. Outdoor scenes are generally more difficult to blend, and in this case this parameter should be increased. The right combination of these parameters is highly dependent on the images themselves and the kind of output you want. You are encouraged to change them until you get the image you want. Thanks for listening.